In this video, I'm going to show you how to tidy up your VAT codes in Xero. There's a very good reason for doing this. I want to make sure that it's much easier for you to choose the correct VAT codes. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at where the VAT codes are in Xero and how we can tidy them up. By tidying them up, what I want to do is remove codes that you're unlikely to need. Okay, let's head into Xero and take a look. From the Xero dashboard, we're going to choose Accounting, we're going to choose Advanced, and we're going to head over to the right and we're going to choose Tax Rates. Tax Rates in Xero means VAT rates. Now this list is quite extensive and you might find that it's too confusing because there's options on here that you don't need. If you have a padlock on the left, you can't get rid of that rate because it's been used. It tells you there you cannot delete tax rates used on an account. So if it's already been used, you can't delete it. But for example, if we're in Great Britain, if we're in Scotland, England or Wales, we're not going to need these acquisition codes. And I do find that people might buy something from the EU and use these codes by mistake. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to do the same with EC Goods Income, EC Services, and then I'm going to choose Delete. Again, if you never used 5% VAT on expenses, 5% VAT on income, you could delete these as well. In my account that I'm looking at, I'm not able to because the padlock is there. So that is how you tidy up your tax rates, your VAT rates in zero. Very simple to do, but worthwhile. I hope you find the video useful. Remember, if you need help with your zero, I'm available for one-to-one -one coaching. And if you're tired of doing your own bookkeeping, take a look at our website and you'll find out if we're currently taking on any bookkeeping clients. But until next time, happy zeroing.